start the yes so when we are taking one upon x as u and one upon y as v then as discussed with the one upon two x means one upon two into one upon x one upon x is changed by u so it becomes u by two so now the variable from the denominator which is negative power one upon x means x raised to the power minus one which is negative not linear but here u upon two means it's a linear one so we have changed the non linear equations to the linear equations by doing this transformation so this will be u upon 2 v upon 3 is equal to 2 and children what will y one upon 3x becomes if you see carefully one upon x is taken as ma'am u, u upon 2 by 3 i'm u by 3 u by 3 and the another one will become V by, U by two. V by two. V by, by three. So. Ma'am, V by two. As discussed earlier, as discussed earlier, we don't want anything in the denominator. Now, what is the LCM of denominator? Six. Ma'am, six. 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 So let us multiply these equations by six. Let us multiply these equations by six. Then what do we get, children? Now u upon two. When you multiply it by six, what shall it become? Three u. Manu three u. Three u. Likewise, v upon three into six becomes two u. Two v. Two v. Two v. Two. Equal to twelve. Two into six is twelve. And the next one would be u upon three into six. Six upon. Ma'am, two u. Two u. Two u. Plus three v is equal to thirty. Now we shall solve these two linear equations. These are the linear equations. These were non-linear, but now these are linear equation with degree one. So we are going to solve these two equations for u and v. So elimination cut then. Let us eliminate u or v, whichever you want. So if I multiply the first equation by two and second by three. What I get is three into two, six u. Two twos are four b is equal to twenty four. Six u plus nine b is equal to thirty nine. Thirty nine. And let us subtract. Change of sign will be there. Now when we are subtracting, this would cancel. Cancel. All minus nine is minus five. Ma minus five b. And twenty four minus thirty nine is. Ma minus three. Ma b equal to three. B equal to three. Ma b is three. B is equal to minus fifteen by minus five equals to three. So get a b equal to three. Now put b equal to three in any of these two equations and get the value of u. So let us say. From one. Three u is equal to twelve minus two v. Twelve minus two into three. So twelve minus six is six. So u is six upon three, which is Lam two. Lambda. So we have got the values of u and v. Right, beta. But the question is to solve for x and y. So ultimately, value to hume. X and Y की चलिए। So now one upon X is equal to U and one upon Y is equal to V. This means one upon X is equal to two, 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 and one upon Y is equal to three, three, three. Right, brother? We can reciprocate it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. X, yes, ma 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 x is equal to one by two, and y is equal to one by two. Reciprocating both sides, so x will be one by two. Y is equal to one by three. By three. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Peter, please pause. My young.
and I will explain. All right, beta. See, children, again, we have got something of the different sort. If I just ask you A upon 3 plus B upon 3, what does it become? A plus B upon A plus B divided by, by 3. So if we can just write this thing from there, can we just write reverse also? If given yes, A plus B, yes, we can write it as A upon 3. Yes, ma'am. So here also, can we do something like this? Yes, ma'am. We have xy in the denominator. Does it mean this means x 7x upon xy minus 2y upon xy is equal to 5 beta? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Using this logic. Right? Ma'am, can you repeat? What I'm saying is we have a upon 3 plus b upon 3. Then we take LCM. It is written a plus b upon 3. But yes. if I give you a plus b upon 3, suppose, does it mean that it can be divided as a upon 3 plus b upon 3? Yes, yes. ma'am. So likewise, I am doing this. x, y is the denominator. I am separating it. Okay? I'm yes, ma'am. Now here, what would be that? 8x upon, 8 8 upon xy minus 2y upon Seven plus seven y upon it. Fifteen. If you want, you can take this down and drop the segment. Now, seven x upon x y means what will get cancelled? X. X. And where y would get cancelled? Y. X cancel, y cancel. So what are we going to get? Seven y minus seven y minus two. Divide by x equal to 5. And 8 upon y plus 7 upon x is equal to 50? Yes. Now, is it just by part 1? Yes, ma'am. So, you don't have to get worried that y is coming first or second. Does it make any difference? Just continue. No, that 1 upon x is equal to u. And... 1 upon b, y is equal to b. Then what do we get? What does this become, children? See, 7 upon y means 7 into 1 upon 5? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm 7b. Ma'am, 7b. 7b. B. This becomes 7 7 b. minus 2u. Minus 2u equal to 1. Equal to 5. What about this? 8v. 8v minus 7v. Plus 7v. Plus u. Equal to 15. Now we need to solve these two equations. Yes. Shall I multiply this by 7 and this by 2? Yes, ma'am. So what do we get? 49v. 49v. Minus 14 u no, is equal to 35. Equals to 35. 16 v plus 14 u is equal to 30. 30. Add them. Now if I add these um, equations. Minus 14 plus 14 cancelled. 65 v is equal to 65. V equals to 1. V equal to 1. V equal to 1. Now we have got V. What next we need to find? U. Putting in equation. U. So from 2, 7U is equal to 15 minus 8V. V is 1. So this would be 15 minus 8, which is 7. Ma'am, U is also equal to 1. U, yes. U is also equal to 1. Okay, now, now 1 upon x is equal to u and 1 upon y is equal to b. Yes, ma'am. Yes, so, 1 upon x is 1, 1 upon y is also equal to 1. Ma'am, so x and y equal to 1, 1. x and y equals to 1. That's Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes.
Mayan. Ma'am. Stop it. <laughs>